Hi everyone, welcome to another Chaos Africa meeting. So I'll move it to um Amole, which is our moderator for today. Let me just show my screen. So yeah. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So um last meeting we discussed like a number of things. Um amongst the things we discussed were um Chaos Africa um, Chaos Con Africa, the events, planning, then GitHub co okay, yeah, yeah, I'm moving too fast. Oh sorry. <laughs> Okay, well, that's right. But let's let's take it. I, I think okay. I don't think we have any new formats though. So maybe um I think everybody here. Um no, I, I think I see somebody new. Um Shidalu, are you joining us for the first time? Yes, so uh -huh. good afternoon. My boss, my ogre. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so oh, I'll just, I'll I'll just, 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 I'll 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 Okay, but well, I think that that was um that was echoing. I don't. I think so. Okay. Okay. So um, welcome everyone. Um, to those that were not around last week, we discussed a couple of things. Um, part of what we discussed were the planning and um the progression of um Kioscon Africa. Then um we also talked about. GitHub Copilot partnership with Chaos Africa, where we had to come up with three stories about how GitHub Copilot is used or can be used for social good. Okay. So we were able to put um, three teams to work with them. Um, I think I'll just share. Oh, Ruth, could you please share the um, link to yeah, the. Um, Okay, this is it. Okay. So yeah, um, so last week we we had had the conversation for the people. Not last week, I think two weeks. But this meeting happened um bi weekly, so we had the conversation around a recent partnership we have with GitHub to get um you know grants from GitHub to develop stories of how people are using of how people are using copilot GitHub copilot in Africa and how it's progressing and helping open source work. And if you're not familiar with copilot, it's, the, it's like an AI that like helps developers code AI. AI is right now and yeah, I heard it's a difficulty here. So, um, GitHub Copilot is like a version of, like, that helps developers code better. So that's the partnership we have with um, to develop stories um, for GitHub. That's what the grant is about, around how it's improving um, open source, the use of Copilot. Um, so yes, the last meeting was us kind of like getting in people that were interested in contributing to this. and. We met, we took the meeting, we did another meeting, right? And kind of finalized on the three story idea. So thank you to the awesome contributors that are, that are pushing this forward. Um, we, the story ideas we kind of finalized on are these three. Um, the first, and I'll move it, I'll give it to the, the people leading the story ideas to talk more about it, but just as a, a summary, right? These are the three story ideas that we have, how 
bit of copilot helps you with divergent developers with productivity, you know, and an introductory session that we we'll do at Chaos Con Africa and the hackathon as well. So I know I know um Omale, do you want to talk about like this particular this particular story idea and what's the motive behind it, what you, your team has done so far, and then we keep going to the next person. Um, okay, so um, currently we have three leads for each of the three stories. Um, my name is Omode, and I'm leading story one, which whose topic is um, GitHub profile, how GitHub profile helps new emerging developers with their productivity. So um, the central idea of this story um, is to highlight how GitHub co-pilots helps new language developers to, um, to obtain maximum productivity. For example, you, you know that, so there are two, you can classify people based on how their brain works into like two big classes. Um, so there are neuro-normative people and neuro people. So neuro-normative people, let's just say these people have normal brain function. Now, this is not to say that neuro of us, or do the region people in general have abnormal brain function? It just means that the way their brain works is not conventional. So, calculations of neurodivergent developers might be um, hyperfixation on a task or a form. Um, it could also be um, short attention span, um, memory loss, um, inability to multitask, etc. etc. So, you know. You, when you have people who can do these things you normally, know, like their day to day activity, you find that productivity for them is not um, a big deal. And I agree that everybody um, has periods of productivity, ways that they hack their own productivity. But it's a little harder, it's a little complex for new divergent people. So it means that you have to take extra measures, extra steps, sometimes drugs, therapy, all of that, just so you can like perform or do your best at work. So um, GitHub, we're talking about how GitHub Copilot helps you diverging developers in this case, how it helps them to speed up their development process, how it helps their decision making, how it helps um, the ability to meet up with deadlines and as so like by extension, their work-life balance, right? So um, that's the central idea for the story. So we have chosen to highlight at least two developers and hear from them how um, co-pilot helps them like achieve maximum daily productivity at work or when they are coding. So um, I will be one of the people that will be interviewing, and I'm also the team for um, this story. And I think if I'm working with an amazing team, so I think it's going to turn out really great. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the next person can fix it now. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I really do like the story as well. And I've already had a lot of things to say. So I'm just going to open it up to people what they think, because I know the last meeting, if you're here, we're kind of like deliberating on doing something for an NGO, but when we kind of read that, it was like, that's going to be like a lot of work since we have like a timeline that we hope to meet. So we kind of switched it up with this idea. So I'm just going to, you know, show it out to everybody because I've had a lot of things to say for anybody that has any questions for Omolere or um, what are your thoughts on having the story, the story up there. Hi, Homolere. Um, can Hi. you hear me? Okay, okay. So, okay. So, um, I think I have um an understanding that the meeting, the project is supposed to be for like two months, May to August or something. So I wanted to ask if you already have the developers on ground that you want to um, interview. Um, so no, currently at the moment we don't, but I am one of them. So it means I pick like one or two more people. And um, oh. the plan that I discussed with the rest of the team was that we need to put out a Google form 
for everyone on the trip to actually share. Like it's not restricted for my team members. So everyone in the team to be shared within this platform so that on their various social media platforms they can um share it and hopefully we find a number of volunteers willing to talk about um their experience with people. Okay, so in case they don't um, have any experience with co-pilot, are you willing to um, kind of like uh, do some short experiment on them to say, oh, you've not been using before. Um, can you try and use it and let's see what your before and after experience is? Yes, it's also something, yes, that's one of the reasons that's one of the mm -hmm. However, that's I don't okay. think... Yeah. Um, I don't think developers that use Copilot will be so hard to find because I think, like you say, it's a normal generalized tool by now, especially students. Like, I know a couple of new um, developers that are students that use Copilot. It's just that um, okay. they may be reluctant to like, want to share. So, if all things fail, I could try convincing them. Well, I, don't think, I don't think it's going to be that hard to find for it. Mm, okay, thank you. I think I, you. I get your idea of adding table. I think for this story, we're looking for like people that are already users, right? But I think yeah, but sorry, was someone saying something? Okay, so yeah, so I I think we're looking more of like people that already use co-pilot for this particular story so um and it's a good idea that maybe for the people that might know that would have responded it's something we can tell them okay this is i i think even plays into the next the next story idea which um does any of does anybody have any more questions for Moliri or any more um feedback or ideas anything Okay, so I'm going to just leave that as a new. So thank you, Moliri, and you are looking forward to you know all the exciting things that are going to come out of this. Um, so um, the next story idea is like um and like like I said um I think it's something that plays into the next one. Like for people that have not used because while even copilot is like you know something that is widespread, there are some people that have not had that have not used it before so um the next story idea is educating and like an introductory section session about copilot in doing um chaos con africa that is coming up which uh Pihan is kind of going to do so i'll just let her kind of explain the difference what it will be about like the ideas and what our team is coming up with as well i think if he hands on the call so yeah i mean can you hear me yeah Okay, so yeah, good afternoon or good evening, everyone. Good day. Good day. <laughs> so uh, number two is about um, an introductory session to GitHub Copilot, and basically what this session is um, aiming or what is aimed at. It's going to be at ChaosCon Africa that we are having in June. So it's going to be a session where we um, have we talk to people about what copilot is, make them see it, because even though it's quite popular, a lot of people don't know what it is or how to use it. They just think it just spits out code, whereas there are ways to use copilot. So um, the session will cover things like getting started with copilots. If there are students there, we will um, we'll tell them how it's possible to activate copilot with your school email because I'm a student too and I use copilot so um how to link um copilot to your email things like that how to use it to write code how to use it to improve your productivity as a developer when you're writing code so and also yeah I think we also discussed about interviewing people before and um, some people before the session about what about uh copilot or interview people that don't know about copilot yes before the session and then after the session you now interview them to just get some feedbacks on like everything so that's what the session is going to be about okay thank you very much i think ramat had a question about if we are going to find um developers so i i think are you asking for 
is it in for the first story idea or the second one ramat the first one but i think um amole has answered it earlier when i think i asked that so probably missed the question so yeah so does anyone have questions for like uh if we have and this this session is going to be open to a couple of, like a lot of people so anybody can join so it's not going to be limited like the first one right so it's like open to people people can join it and learn about copilot how to use it um and all that stuff so does anyone have like any questions oh uh, yeah the meeting minutes can someone share it um to precious Um, does anyone have any questions for Ifihan or maybe any ideas, additional ideas? She's already working with like a team. So I don't think that's the thing here. Okay, I think I think it's it's okay. Um so I don't think I see Catherine here. Is anybody from like because we so um just to give some context to some more people that might not be planning this whole thing so we last week we had like a whole team arrangement and then there are some teams like the people that have just spoken are like the people leading the story ideas and then we have people that are supporting them as uh, you know team members and all that stuff so i don't know is there anybody that's on this page because um catherine is not here uh is anybody that wants to talk about this from here um Okay, let me just take it. So for this, the last story idea, right? It's it's around. Um, so after the after the um, introductory session, we plan to do like a follow up, kind of like a follow up hackathon, um, for both maybe people that participated in the in the introductory session and even people that maybe also already know about Copilot. I don't think we should limit it. Um, so we'll do a session where these people. We will participate and build solutions with copilot right and uh, would tell a story around how you know people that were just totally new to copilot are doing are, are doing more things are building solutions right with copilot so we need we the the idea is around forming some solutions creating some solutions and telling people to build using the tool using um copilot as a tool to enhance um, they are building and also we are going to formulate a story around that. So these are the three story ideas that we um, eventually came up with. And GitHub has already, um, we have shared this with GitHub and they have approved these story ideas. And basically our deliverables to them will be videos, photographs and like storytelling points that come together that they can use to form a coercive story. Um, so that's what this whole project is about. I'm really, really excited about it because it's something that you know would spotlight a lot of the work we are doing here in Chaos Africa, um, and it's it's exciting and I can't wait for us to like have those things out and then you know they would form it into different stories um, and feature the work that we are doing here in Chaos Africa. So yeah, so I'll just does anybody have any question before we move to the next agenda topic? Um, da, 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 da. Um, just a quick clarification, will the hackathon also be happening at Chaos Con Africa? Okay, the, who is, uh, no, the hackathon will happen after, so it won't happen, it's just like, um, you know, after the hackathon, let's build solutions, so it will not happen, it won't happen in Chaos Con Africa, it will happen like post. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, more questions, more feedback. Okay. All right. Okay. Somebody is trying to say something. You know. um, there's some bug on us. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so um, I know Amalie missed this. Uh, she talked about it, but I'm just going to emphasize more. Um, you know, we are still planning Chaos Con Africa. And if you want to, I foresee this meeting to be a short one. Um, but if you want to, um, the towards the end of the meeting, we usually do the whole planning, so you can join um, and plan it. But if you've not gotten a ticket, 
for a chaos con africa please um do get your ticket and we'll be excited to have you we have like a lot of exciting topics and interesting things that will happen there so if you're able to attend we're also going to stream it so i know that some people might not be able to attend but we are, we are planning on streaming it so that people will participate as well so do get your tickets um here with this link um okay so only yeah you can go ahead i think this agenda is she still here faith raised the hand so yeah faith yes. okay. hello everyone okay Hi. i actually i actually have a question about the tickets so those of us that won't be coming to lagos and want to stream online is com it's compulsory we get the ticket right no it's not it's compulsory in this life okay no. Compulsory, like since you're streaming online, you're not attending in person, so it's just everybody can stream online, so you must not necessarily get the ticket, except you want to support, which I think, but well, you must not necessarily get the ticket. So okay. Um, okay. Let's, 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 let's see if we're not going to hear from anybody. Um, no, I don't think I, I hear you. I was asking if you will not be hearing from any person. Omolida is speaking on my Can you use the chat? There's a lot of like background noise. Except I'm the only one hearing that. Is it better? If you can use the chat. Oh. Okay, um, while I wait for the chat, uh, Oluchi, do you want to talk about the GitHub maintainer months? Um, so GitHub is, this month of me, GitHub is highlighting maintainers and recognizing maintainers. Let me let me even look for it. Um, and so different open source projects are building, uh, recognizing maintainers as well. Like it's just a thing where, yeah, maintainer month twenty three. So GitHub are celebrating maintainers in the month of May, and um, they are highlighting different things that open source communities are doing to celebrate maintainers. So if you see the schedule here, you see a lot of people different open source projects and their events so you can put your events um on this on this um if it's happening in the month of may you can put it on this on this um schedule so um chaos africa is also planning um something to put on this schedule which um Oluchi is leading um Oluchi, do you want to talk about it She's still Hi everyone. Good evening. Uh, sorry, good afternoon. Jesus Christ. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay, so I I cannot share my screen, but I sent you something so that you can help me share. Where did you it send it? <laughs> you yeah. Um okay, sorry, I missed it. Um, I have been away from my phone. Okay. But let me paste this one first. Oh, okay, this this one. Okay, so this is it. Um, let me paste it in the chat as well. So you, you can talk through it now. All right. So good afternoon, everyone. So um, hi, and um, a couple of persons. We are planning this maintenance month in Chaos Africa. Because I had a discussion with um, Mary Blessing to brief me about what the game is all about. So, yeah. So, we've had two meetings so far. We had one meeting yesterday to give report on every other thing. The, we are planning on doing three things, which is spotlighting the maintainers in Chaos Africa and also um, a Twitter space. And the last one is writing a blog post on, on um, it's just like 
since the Twitter space is going to be a voice version, we want to have a, what's it called, written okay. article. Okay. Um, sorry, voice content. That was what I wanted to say. No so um, the first one is the spotlighting. We um, got in, um, what's it called, details from the maintainers and the light, which is, who is also part of our planners, is going to do the design. So the design is going out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And for the Twitter space, sorry. And for the Twitter space, we're having our Twitter space next week, Friday, 26th of May, 2023. But we've not decided the time yet because we, we, we are looking at um, balancing it. So we want to know the time zone if, if we are not just targeting Nigerians in law, we want to be able to fix a particular time that is going to accommodate other people from other regions. So we are yet to fix that one. Sorry, can you can you scroll down? Okay, sure. For the uh, Twitter space. Yes, yes. Okay, this is this blog article though. Where's the Twitter yes. space? Up. Going too much. Okay. Yeah, this place. Okay. So, so we 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 are yet to determine the time and um, yeah, just the time. So we are going to we are going to be having two um two anchors, mm -hmm. the host and the co-host. I'm mm -hmm. already indicated interest in co-hosting the event for us. We're yet to get a an host. The host, the host is the person that, that has access to the account. Now, don't you have access to the account? So, okay. So, yeah, so we came up with possible questions yesterday. <laughs> I didn't hear. So, we came up with possible, um, possible questions yesterday. And um, yeah, those were the questions we were able to come up with. The questions that the questions has to do with their journey into becoming uh, maintainers, challenges, you know, questions that other people that want to become a maintainer can also relate to. So those were the questions we were able to generate, all thanks to the other planners. Too. And for the topic, we are yet to de decide on the topic so we, we came up with two topics yeah the first one is becoming an open source maintainer how it can boost slash supercharge your career then the second one is um, empowering contributors and building future leaders yeah, <laughs> so those are the two topics we came up with still yet to decide which one i mean so much, so much distance. So yes. Yeah. So the second one. Okay. So so um. So yes, that is all about the maintainers. This thing. I'm not talking about the blog post right now because the blog post is going to be a continuation, not like a continuation, but just converting the Twitter space into a blog post. Mm -hmm. And Phoebe and um. Phoebe and Brian are going to undo that part for us. Awesome. Um, okay, so I think Kinsley, your hand is raised. If you want to say something, so you can raise your hand. So I think you can go ahead. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. So, okay, well done, well done she, um, But then I, I think I just have some reservation, right, with the Twitter space, like the topic. You know, okay. so uh, the I know these are kind of like suggestions, anyways. Um, we have becoming an open source maintainer. maintainer. How it can? I don't know. The best of the questions you said, it's more like uh, talking to the maintainers, right, and getting to know how they got into the space and start contributing. So can we kind of like maybe rephrase the whole thing to reflect that? Rather than maybe it's not like a space to, I don't know, are we, maybe people leave the space and hoping to become maintainers or people are coming to this 
space and hoping to become maintainers like Rachel joining the space or something. So I don't know if kind of like any other person is sharing this sentiment. Okay, you. yeah, I think I, I get I get what you're saying for the first topic. What about the second topic? Although the second topic to me seems more like it's um what's the second topic again? I even highlighted it and you still cannot see it. Are you sure you're going <laughs> I know you like glasses. <laughs> empowering okay. contributors. Okay, empowering contributors are building. Um, I think that's more like it, but maybe. You, okay, do you have suggestions too? I don't, I don't. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like it can be better anyway. So, um, you yeah, I, I, I think I hear the same the sentiment yeah. from the first one, because the first one seems more like, okay. Like giving you the all the parts becoming my team in this Twitter space, right? So I think I do share. You get. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, thank you. So I think we can even get more. Um, yeah, during during this um our meetings, we have really good people that know how to, to refine topics. So um, I'm sure we'll definitely get a a, a good topic here. Um, all I right. think. Uh, yes, I, yes, I, thank you. I wanted to say I share the sentiment um, of Kingsley, and I'm thinking, what how about if we flip the, the first topic to say how being an open source maintainer boosted or supercharged my career? Anyway, you, we, we have to select one word at a boost or supercharge because they are both powerful words, uh, one we do. So it, it's kind of switched the focus on the maintainer. And then since it's even an interview format anyway, so I, I feel we, should, we can just switch that. Okay. Um, if, if it was just one, one guest, it should have worked, but we have like three guests on the space, so it's kind of it's kind of, that that's how how it boosted my it's it's personal. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, sir. Oluchi, what did you say is the goal of the? Sorry, please. I actually. Yeah, yeah. One of the guests. I don't know the goal of the. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know the goal of this space. Uh, maybe only she should share the goal of this space again. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> All right. So the goal okay, of this space. Is... Sorry. Yeah, I want to say something. Um, concerning the topic, um, is it possible to make it open now in this meeting? That's if anyone has something different from what is presented here. Oh, yeah, it's open. Like, I know a lot of, as I said, there, there are a lot of people that with also my ideas here. The last time okay. we tried to get a topic, we had like a ton of people, a ton of ideas. So it's open for anybody to suggest a topic. Like, we just got yeah, that's one. That's fine. So. That's fine. I'll, I'll think about something. But when I get it, I'll, I'll share it to the chat. Okay. So the other idea generators, please go for it. But, uh, so I, I, sorry to interrupt. I, I think it will help if we can just write down the goal of the Twitter space so that anyone that wants to generate idea can actually work with that. So, so from my understanding, like Oluchi explained earlier, so the, we are celebrating maintainers in Chaos Africa, right? Um, we want to know how um, you know, how they do their job, how they are able to maintain a community, a project, uh, what motivates them. We want, we want to celebrate, like, that's, that's the, the whole and the entire, let me just go back to that side, so I don't see what I'm not, what I, I don't, like, so the, the entire goal of maintainer month, right, um, for, for maintainers is, um, for maintainers finding, how do they find balance, you know, how this thing, just learning from their experience. And then for companies, it's to, you know, think about funding open source. So us at, um, at Chaos Africa, we want to celebrate the people that are behind the work, right? Like uh, 
you know, Kinsley has been leading the design team. Anita does a lot with the badging project. Enoch does a lot with like um, the boards and all that stuff. So we want to learn from, they want our audience to learn from their experience as well, right? And, you know, from, from the nuggets they would share, they would be able, our audience would be able to pick one or two things that might help them, you know, you know, supercharge their career. So I think that's the goal. Right, if if I'm not mistaken, Oluchi. No, no, you're I'm not. I'm just saying, like, if you think. So, um, I, I'm on Oluchi's team, so we had that meeting, I think it was yesterday, about how the um, space and everything should go. And that was the reason why um, I highlighted keywords with that team. Whatever we've been discussing, we be around maintainers in chaos, open source, and career growth generally. And we decided that we would draw inspiration from the things that GitHub provided to um, or drive this topic basically. So we decided that when, like, talking about career growth and then um, open source. Life as a maintainer, as a professional, work life balance, all of these things, these elements from GitHub's team will come into the conversation at some point. So, basically, the, the whole point of this space is to actually um, hear from the maintainers with the spotlight team and in order for people to learn. So, we decided to go with a simple topic because we wanted it to be so that both people that are new to the community people that have been in the community for a while, people that are just getting into open source and don't know what to do or how to get into it, to be able to benefit like all that learns from that, um, from that um, space. So whatever blog post we'll be writing would be like inspiration from mm -hmm. everything we've learned from each of the speakers on that space, on that day. Do you understand? So, mm -hmm. um, Based on, on how everything is, the topic is just there to like give us the direction, like what are we looking towards? What kind of questions do we want to be asking? What are, what is our audience like? And we decided we wanted wanted a topic that will get us like everybody. So even if there is somebody that has no idea of open source, they that they do uh, be able to walk in with one thing or the other. People that are already in open source will learn how to like manage like work life balance, work as a maintainer or work as an open source contributor and they work as a professional in their own field and other things. So basically that's like the whole point of the whole thing. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, I, I think I like this one, this empowering contributors and building, except this is more like a a I, I think I, I do like this one. Maybe we can. In the blog we are sharing on social, we are we are we'd say we are in the spirit of um maintainers month. We are celebrating chaos maintainers, and this is the Twitter space. Come and learn from the experience or something like that. So it's I think it's pretty okay with me. I know. Okay. Um, so another thing I wanted to say is we actually do need to um settle on the time right because um like i said there's a schedule here and somebody has to put this on their schedule right on the uh, maintainer month schedule i think you can how it naturally works is just going to the repository to add a, an issue i think and to add your project or sorry your your events you can read how to add your the events on the tweet on the websites so we need a time i what time would i think timing usually in the past how we have done twitter spaces in the past we usually do around around like i think 5 6 p.m wat so that's I, I think you should ask this the guest what time work for them too. I think they would also determine um the timing that would would eventually go with because if the guests are not there, um it doesn't the space won't won't hold, right? So you can confirm from the guest so that we schedule the space, we do the schedule 
start um you know putting it out there and then even put it on the on on their schedule websites so well done to everybody working to make this a success um i think there are really awesome people here uh, peculia Moliri, brian phoebe um oluchi delight so if you want to be part of this team you can reach out to oluchi because there's still like a lot of work to be done right um so please reach out to Oluchi if you have um you know you want to help contribute to this as well um the minute meeting yes i can do that uh yep okay okay so does any is there any other thoughts or ideas around that for we i think we do we have any more topics is there any other thing we want to discuss because towards the end of the meeting we usually um talk up like the chaos africa committee meets to chat about what's been going on so is there any other is there any other um okay there's a topic idea here let me copy Hmm. Huh, interesting. Um, let me just. I'm just going to paste it. The topic. Of your team would determine that later, or which one you guys go with. Thank you, um, delight. Thank you, so valuable for the topic ideas. They're awesome. So I'm just going to put them here. Okay. Can you all hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Yeah, using MTN, you have to be very, very sure about people are hearing you. I keep talking, nobody be hearing you. Yeah, but that's why. Same, well, that's what happened to me too. <laughs> right. Um. Uh, okay. So, um, is there any more topics we want to discuss? Um, I think that's all for our agenda. Thank you, Molly, for partially facilitating the space because I did some work. <laughs> I understand. I don't know. MTN is just it's just really terrible. Who, who would love to facilitate next week? Um not next week, the next meeting rather like we have this bi-weekly next meeting. Oh, yeah. shy. We are very fun people here. It's not mm, me. <laughs> Oh, if he had um, like yeah yeah it is, it is me. Okay. so we have a new for next week uh next time ah, let's keep saying next week uh okay so do we have any more things to discuss any questions on everything that we raised today um okay silence means no okay um, please do tweet. I think there was something about um, ChaosCon Africa. Please tweet about ChaosCon Africa, even though you're not attending. Tell other people to attend. Um, if you're in Lagos, you should definitely attend. It's going to be exciting. Um, and yeah, so if you want to be part of the ChaosCon Africa committee or you want to pull, you want to be part of the planning, you can stay back for the meeting. So let me just stop the recording. Oh, maybe this. Oh, have I been recording since? Okay, I think I've been recording. There's no button to stop it. Ah, oh, please, Elizabeth should take off, take off this part. I always struggle with Zoom. Okay.